Jennifer! Ah. Where is your ointment? It's finished! Finished? <laughs> at home. How? Um, I'll be leaving for Borno State by Monday. On transfer? No. To supervise some of our irrigation projects within the uh, Chad Basin. What's your secret? Well, the secret is a wonderful mother and a handsome, caring fiancé. <laughs> Madam Flattery, thanks for your compliments. Oh, my dear. Stanley will be going on relief duty to Borono State, so we'll be missing him for some time. Yeah, it won't be for too long. Just six years. Six years? Mama? Ah, I knew you would fall for it. Oh. <laughs> Mama, please just do take care of that for me. I will. All right. I'll be only away for six months. Okay. <laughs> for now, I'll go to work so that my boss does not sack me. Uh, I'll see you in school if time permits. Eh? Okay, Madam Civil Servant. Run along now. <laughs> Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Bye-bye. Bye. Yes, Madam Undergraduate. Are you through with your packing? Yes, sir. But you need to help me. Why not? Let's go. Yes, I don't like him. I don't like the subject. Just all you need to do is buy the first one. All your problems are over. Thank you. Even though with that, I will never understand that topic on strength of material. I'll help you. I'll help you. Okay. It's the most interesting topic in engineering. For you, not for me. Sorry, 
That's... Have you seen your doctor recently? No. But I visited the campus medical center and they gave me some drug to relieve the pain. Jenny, that's not enough. Has Mama been able to raise anything? Yes. Mama has really tried. She also borrowed money from the town union. With what we have, I think it will be enough. What about Stanley? What is he doing about all this? We are expecting him within the week. But really, I don't want to stress him. Let's go. Say so. Oh, come on. You don't have to look this worried. The doctor said it's only a minor operation. That's what he said. But he doesn't give me any consolation. They're going to cut me open, aren't they? Yes. Jenny, but it's just to remove the fibroid. Many women have done it. Well, I've not done it before. So I'm scared, Steve. Oh, come on. Lies. You don't have Jenny. to be. Before you know what is happening, they will have finished tearing you open. Ever seen what the butcher does to the meat? Really? How can you say a thing like that? <laughs> I was only joking now. That better be. Stop mind him. Oh. Sorry, sweetie, I was only joking now. It's just gonna be alright. Okay? Sweetie, stop touching her. Please stop it! It's alright, it's okay. It's my sweetheart. Excuse me. I think it is time for you to leave us. We have to prepare the patient for the surgery. <laughs> sweetie, as the knife goes in, Remember, I'll be waiting outside too. So the pain with a kiss. I love you. I love you too. Jenny, <laughs> <laughs> if you're oh, okay, right? okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Just be strong for us, okay? Okay. Oh, you guys are leaving so me. Okay. Um, sincerely speaking, madam, I don't actually know what went wrong. But I'm afraid we might have to hold her back here for a while. I, I don't understand, doctor. But you told me it was fibroid. It was, but we had a slight complication. What? No, I don't understand. Relax, man. Well, please take it easy. I'm taking it easy. Just go on. Relax, madam. Take it easy. Uh, could you please sit down? Okay. Thank you. I'm listening. Thank you. Like I said, her urinary tract was affected. Uh, no, and that's a treatment for her condition. She's going to get better. Perhaps the only slight problem that I envisage is the cost. Cost? Cost of what? You see, madam, the least the hospital can take to perform corrective surgery is 300,000 Naira. And the hospital's policy states that before such delicate matters are handled, at least 50% of this depleted fee must be paid. I'm a civil servant for God's sake! Where do you expect me to get that kind of money from? Did you listen to yourself? Are you making any sense? My daughter was damaged here. You damaged my daughter. Now you're asking me to pay you 300,000 Naira to correct your mistake? Madam, you see, you have every right to be angry, honestly speaking. Although the mistake 
was not intentional. Yes. Yes. My daughter is lying on that bed. Dripping urine. Do you know what you have done? You have taken away her future from her. God bless you. May God forgive you. Jenny, you can't stay bottled up like this. You said it was just a fibroid operation. Everybody said it was going to be very simple. Sally, look at me. Just take a good look at me. I can't control my bowels. I think. I know you can't wait to get out of here. Nobody wants to be close to me anymore. No, no, don't <laughs> talk like that. Look, if I don't care about you, I, I, I won't be here. And what's the doctor saying? He told Mama I would need corrective surgery. So, how much would that cost? 300,000 there. Why? I don't know. Ask the doctor! <laughs> I notice you've not been concentrating at work. What's the problem? Jennifer. Jenny. Is she alright? I, I thought she was out of hospital. No, uh, man, that's why I that's why I invited you here. Hey! I, <laughs> I need your advice. Talk to me. Bro Greg has his listening ear. You know how urinary tract was affected by the operation? Mm hmm Now they need to do a corrective surgery. Mm hmm The doctors are asking for... for 300,000 naira. And her mother doesn't have that kind of money. And do you have that kind of money? Honestly, Greg, you know... You know I have more than that. But... Stan. Let me see your hand. Your left hand. More. <laughs> I, I thought as much. No ring. And I'm sure that Jenny is not wearing one either. I don't understand. Hey, wake up, man. Jenny is just a girlfriend. Listen, if you spend that kind of money to treat her, tomorrow she's going to leave you for another man. And your money will become history. Wake up! I mean, how do I turn her down at this point? I mean, it's going to be cruel to do that at this point. And it will be stupid for you to spend that kind of money on a woman who is not your wife. Okay. What if the operation is not a success? Huh? Are you ready to marry a woman who is going to drip urine for the rest of her life? If you're looking for where or what to spend money on, 
Spend it on me. <laughs> I am success looking for where to happen. Always me, we come. Three hundred thousand. Mama, are you the one insisting on going home, or did the doctor discharge her? We are going home, my daughter. The more we stay here, the more we pay bills. It was cool. Mama, go home and do what now? So let's go and look for money to treat your friend. The hospital has refused to do anything if they don't see money. Mama Jenny can't go home like this now. She can't go home like this. So what do we do? If it is a lot, let it be. My mother will get the money somehow. Been here. I saw him last a week ago. Can't he help? If he had the money, he would have helped. But what right do I have to ask him for anything? He, he didn't cost this. Relationships are only for good times. When the bad times come, we go our separate ways. I don't know. Okay. I don't You never used to be too busy before she went into hospital. Why are you attacking me like this? Or have I committed any crime? When you saw her, did she tell you what the doctor said? Uh, about the corrective uh, surgery? Yes. And how much it will cost? That is too much money, Kechi. That's too much. That Jennifer and her mother do not have. And that I don't have too. Stanley, you could help. She has nobody else but you. And is that supposed to make me happy? She's been discharged. She can't move around the way she is. She needs help. Gechi, I know all the help Jennifer needs. If I have, why not? I mean, I'll be the first to, to help her out. But I don't have, and that's the problem. I mean, so what do I do? So, how do you expect her to raise money for the surgery? School resumes next week. Listen, I don't have 300,000 naira. Can't her mother go to her office and take a loan or something, I mean? From which office? From the Ministry of Education? You must see Jennifer. She needs all the care and love she can get now. That you know. Excuse me. No. 
<laughs> I can remember everything. If you're lucky. Me, if I don't make a list, that market, I'll go there 70 times. <laughs> don't worry, I'll give you the secret. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Which of you is smelling like this? Huh? Your mother didn't teach you that you should take your bath before leaving the house in the morning? See how you're stinking up the whole place? Useless girls. No, wait. Who the hell do you think you are? You're very stupid and jobless. Idiot. Look at his battered car. You gotta have your bath first. Just being stupid. But he's right. That's how they always say my problem until it's solved. But it will definitely be solved, won't it? It will. You'll be fine, okay? Okay? Expecting you. I, I didn't know you started going out. I decided to check you since you have refused to see me. Oh no, it's not like that. You know I've been very busy lately. Come on, go inside. Oh, no, I'd rather not. I... Don't be ridiculous. Come on in. <sighs> Sit down. My, fr my friend, Greg, he is a colleague at the office. Hi. 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 Ah. Uh, Stanley, uh, uh, let me see. Uh, okay. Uh, now, now. Now. Uh, uh, oh boy, come, now, come, come. Uh, come, come. She's 
gone. Good readers. <laughs> was with him. Is that why you're looking like this? What happened? <laughs> what is wrong now? Jenny, stop crying. <laughs> Sally said I think that I should stop visiting. <laughs> Sally said that to you? <laughs> no. His friend Greg was advising him. I, I even heard them. And what did he say? He didn't say anything. I left before they came back to the living room. Okay. Oh. Jenny, You're going to be fine, okay? You'll be fine, I promise. <laughs> I'm planning on going back to school on Monday. What are your plans? I don't know. I, I can't go back to school like this. What would the students say? What is their business? Jenny, what is happening to you could happen to anybody. Okay? Jenny, it's okay. <laughs> Jenny, stop this now. What is wrong? He doesn't want me anymore. He doesn't want me anymore. <laughs> okay. Listen, listen. I think you should just concentrate on getting better first, okay? Put these things behind you, please. You'll be fine, okay? Okay? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay, maybe we should just go inside, okay? I'd like to see Stanley if you don't mind. Stanley is not home. Well, his car is parked outside. So? Couldn't he have gone out with a cab? If I say Stanley is not home, Stanley is not home. Maybe I should leave. No, 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 no. Maybe you shouldn't. Huh? Listen, I, I was just on my way out. Huh? And Stanley did not leave any instructions that I should leave his door open for people. So go. Go now. Go! If Stanley doesn't want to see me anymore, he should be man enough to tell it to my face. I don't like being treated like trash. Okay, thank you. Just go. <laughs> go! Just go. Smell. Oh. Ah, oh boy. Ah. Eh? 
Man, I'm waiting now, Kola. Bad luck. Why do you think? You don't die. She needs all the support and help she can get from us. At least only something is like hell she does. There's no way I'm going to stay in the same room with someone who stenches the place up. She has to leave right now. Jenny. Jenny. I'm sorry I have to do this. But you have to leave this room now. You don't have any right to say that. Eh, yes. she has to leave this room right I now. I am telling you, you do not have You want to right. try me. Um, she has to leave this room. Hey, Enke, it's okay now. Stop it. It's enough. Stop. Stop. It's all right, Enke. Don't worry. I will leave if it will make you happy. Jenny, you don't have it's to. It's okay. It's okay. I will come from you. Here, sir. Yes.
I I went for a fibroid operation which later affected my urinary tract since then I've been wearing this much as I understand and appreciate the problem it's a pity I cannot allow you to stay in class with others your presence distracts them. It will be better if you step outside. I will take your lectures through the window, okay? Yes. 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 Excuse Go. me, sir. Yes. This is grossly unfair. I've not asked for your opinion. But sir, Jennifer is a member of this class. Mm -hmm. Look here. Jennifer will do what the lecturer says. Yes. And if you don't like it, you can join her outside. Yes. If you refuse, we we'll throw both of you out of this class by force. Yes. yes. I walked down the street and people turned up their noses. Do you know how it feels when I stand at the bus stop and nobody wants to stand beside me? Like, do you, do you think I like the way I think? Jenny, I understand. You don't understand! Nobody understands! Just leave me alone and let me be! Leave me alone! Hi, beautiful. Are you by any chance going my way? Oh, come on. Listen, look. Even if you're not going my way, all right, I can still, uh, 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 uh. Damn, y'all. Hmm. You tell me the smell is coming out from you. Shit. Damn it. the spell.
What's your business? Nothing. It's just that it, it breaks my heart to see a beautiful girl sitting all by herself out here in tears. Listen, mister. I don't need any sympathy from you. And if you're looking for a girl to pick, sorry, you've made a mistake! <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, didn't, I didn't know that was a problem. I'm sorry. Listen, my car is over there. Maybe I can give you a ride. Here's my car. My name is Emeka. If you need any help, you can call me or drop by. I'd love to see you again. Well? I haven't seen you for some time now. So I decided to come and see how you were doing. Oh, come on, there's no need for all that. You know I'll be doing just fine. I was missing you. Oh, spare me all that sentimental bullshit. Now, what do you want? Please, Stanley. What have I done wrong? Why are you treating me like this? Don't chip on yourself and listen. I'll advise you concentrate on your studies and getting better first. I'd rather you stop coming here anymore. I mean, go take care of yourself. I love you, Sandy. I love you. Please, please, please. Please, don't. Please. Leave me. Ah! Leave me alone! No, go! Go! Leave me! My name is Emeka. If you need any help, you can call me or drop by. I'd love to see you again. Sai, 
of a man's eyes is not written on his face. People say that the friend they need is a friend indeed. But friends of today will turn the back on you when you need them the most. 